government have decided belatedly to uh, uh, go into IMF. But the arrogance of Dr. Baumia and Ken Oforiata and their opaque way of doing things is such that nobody knows exactly what they are taking to the negotiation. As we speak, we have a situation where Dr. Baumia and Ken Oforiata are the only ones probably who knows what they are negotiating. All they want is to uh, decide that Ghanaians should pay a certain amount of money from their private uh, 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 sources to save them, which is the issue about the debt restructuring, which people are pushing against uh, heavily. But there are other significant parts of the negotiation that are not known to Ghanaians, which is, are creating big anxiety, not only in Ghana, but across the, the globe. As I, 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 we sit here, I'm aware that series of meetings have uh, taken place with a close group of people in NPP, uh, close to President uh, Akufado where about allegedly about 60 projects and programs are going to be either suspended or cancelled. These programs include projects that you and I know about, maybe Obechebi, uh, La General Hospital, Shama, uh, how do you call it, uh, the road between uh, uh, Tamamoto we ran about, and Akosombo uh, 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 Bridge, uh, Adomi Bridge, and many other projects across the country. You'll be surprised that this government actually paid some of the developers 15 to 20% mobilizations uh, these are foreign companies. They've taken the mobilization, are sitting in their offices drinking tea because government is unable to tell them whether to go ahead because Ken basically said, suspend all these things. So we are probably losing value because they've taken the money in terms of mobilization. They have set up camp, but they're in the office drinking tea. And they, you cannot blame them. This is of no value to the, to the country. And we are saying, what are the principles underlining the selection of the projects NPP want to cancel, suspend, or go ahead. Don't we all have to have an understanding to this? I think we should. And that this uh, 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 lack of understanding creates big anxiety. There are financiers, developers, contractors, uh, subcontractors, suppliers, and even ordinary workers working with these entities who are currently unsure whether they are going to lose their job permanently because some of them have started laying off people. I project that this could lead to job losses up to 3 million people in the value chain. Because when a contractor, there are contractors in this country whose workforce is about 5,000, one person. So imagine 5,000 people spread out to uh, their uh, family uh, uh, size of about four. The broke man is now coming to give you money to pay your rent. This is why the things don't add up. We need clarity in terms of what they want to do under an IMF program. In, under the NDC, because we went to Senchi, the average Ghanaian knew what we were going to negotiate at IMF and actually set up a body, which is not government, to monitor how government was going to implement whatever decision the IMF was going to uh, agree with Ghana.